Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. I just wanted to give you some background on CTN. Who here has gone to the CTN Best Practices website? Pardon? Okay. I can scream if you want me to. <laughs> In fact, across the street tonight, Alice in Chains is performing. Yeah. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Yeah. No, it's always great to see a big turnout like this after eight months of planning. So thank you. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of a review of CTN best practices. First of all, I want to point out, most importantly, where the restrooms are. Uh, if you go out here and turn to the right, that's where they are. Also, I wanted to remind you that to get your CEUs, you will need to complete an evaluation. And those are in the packet you have where you're sitting. And if you could turn those in where you signed in, you will get a certificate. And by the way, this course offers 0.25 CEUs, which most people look at and say, what? Okay, multiply that by 10, and that's the number of contact hours that you get. So it's 2.5. And finally, we are recording this session. So if you have a question when we have the Q&As, if you could please wait for a microphone, that would be great. So, CTN, best practices. It began as an NIH roadmap project back in 2004. Uh, Dr. Robert Harrington, who is the director of Duke Clinical Research Institute, DCRI, was the PI for that project. And it ran for four years, funded by the government. And now the um, Duke, uh, is now funding that project. We had four aims, uh, but one of our primary aims was to provide resources for the clinical research sites. And to do that, we created a website. And that website went public in January of 2006. I keep pressing the wrong button, sorry about that. And we started up uh, with a group of study coordinators that looked at the content we wanted to post on the website, reviewed that, kept it updated. And initially it was 10 members from nine cardiology sites, but we have since expanded, since the DCRI is now funding it, to 12 members, and they are representing 10 sites and six therapeutic areas. So we've kind of expanded what we offer on the website now. We have a monthly teleconference with those coordinators and we have an annual face-to-face -face meeting. And we don't just do the website, we do this symposium and there are some other projects that we work on as well. As far as the symposia are concerned, our first two were held in conjunction with the American College of Cardiology annual meetings. We had 64 people at the first one, 80 at the second. I don't remember the number at the third because I was stuck in the uh, Chicago airport for that one. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. It was a low number, but uh, it looks like we have a good turnout tonight, which is great. Anyway, we've certainly proven the need for this kind of forum, as well as the website that we have and the tools that we offer. We tentatively are planning to have our next symposium at the next ACRP meeting, which is gonna be in Seattle. So, a little bit cooler than Tampa. Um, just to review the website that we have, by the way, it should be stamped on everything we gave you. Uh, we gave you a mouse, 
a wireless mouse. Um, what else did we give you? A pen and a cell phone holder and a, a folder packet. And if there's something in there that does not have the website address on it, please let me know. Because I need to change that for next year. Um, as I said, we went public with a website in January of 2006. I think that month we had a hundred and some visits. Um, last month we had almost 24,000 and this month we are on track to break 25,000. So a lot of people are coming to the website. What's great about it is it's free and even better. You don't have to log in. I'm sorry to disappoint you with that. I know you wanted an, another account, another password, whatever. Um, and we have visitors from all around the country. I've put a few up here on this slide um, in order, beginning with India, going down the first column, second column, third column. These are the countries that visit us most often outside of the U.S. So we do have quite a bit of traffic. But this website really wouldn't be much of anything if we didn't get stuff from the people who come to it. So I'm begging you, I get on my knees, but I am begging you to please send us some content, comment on what we have. There's got to be a tool you use that you could share with other people that could make things easier for what they do. So please, send us your tools, your feedback, any ideas. If you think there's something we should add, but you don't have it yet, let us know. And more than anything, let other people know about the website. Because I'm convinced that's the way we've gotten people to come to it, passing the word along. Uh, you probably have noticed a remote there at your station where you're sitting. We have an audience response system for this program, and it's an attempt to bring you in to the program. We want to hear from you. So what I'd like to do right now is test that system. So this is the remote you have. I'm assuming everyone knows how to work a remote. Um, so I'm going to ask a question. I think we have three here. I can't remember. And then at some point, there's going to be a timer that appears on the screen. I think you have 10 seconds to answer the question. So wait until the timer appears, and then press your answer. At the end, we'll show the responses. So the first question I have is, have you attended a previous symposium? a CTN symposium. No, okay. That's great, that's great. It's always great to have a new audience. Thank you. Okay, the next question. How did you learn about this symposium? One, you got a, an email from us. Two, a colleague forwarded you an email. Three, the website. Four, something else. Hmm, okay. I wish three had a few more answers, but okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good point. And I believe this is the last question. How often do you visit our website? Okay, two years ago, you guys had better music than that. Um, 
<laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, the 22% who said they've never been there, that's going to change, right? After tonight, right? Okay, okay, good. Once again, there's the address. So, like I said, it's on everything you have, and if it's not, let me know. One thing we decided to do this year is not spend a lot of time on introduction. And Dr. Newby, I apologize. You've done wonderful, great things at Duke, and we did include a bio sketch in our agenda. And that should provide a good background on every speaker we're going to have. So I'm not going to do any more flourishes. Without further ado, Dr. Kristen Newby is going to present to you about biomarkers.